I'm just so honored to be back here today um, receiving this distinguished daughter honor um, because I owe so much of who I have become as a woman um, to um, the education um, that I received here at Girls High and I will be forever grateful for this opportunity. I currently work at the White House um, in the Executive Office of the President, Office of Administration, uh, where I serve as a, a Senior Associate General Counsel. Attending Girls High was one of the most memorable um, events in my life. I mean, here I actually met and have maintained some lifelong friendships. Um, it was an experience that challenged me academically. Um, I, was, I served as the president of the junior class and of the senior class while I attended here. Um, but I have made lifelong friends and colleagues from people who were in my class and even people who were uh, mentees and little sisters um, uh, when I was attending here. My name is Rahima Abdulali. I was in the class, the 238th graduating class of Girls High, the class of 1994. Before I begin, I want to say thank you so much to my parents, Imam Muhammad Abdul Aleem and Bayina Abdul Aleem, who are here with me today. I would also like to thank the principal, Dr. Chris Asian Peacock, that I have when I attended Girls High, who's also here today. Thank you so much. Actually, Girls High prepared me so well academically that my first few years of college were actually much easier than even uh, attending Girls High because here it was so rigorous, the curriculum, that I, and you didn't have a choice of the things that you took that when I got to college I was like, this is actually pretty easy. Um, so I really felt well prepared for um, the academic uh, rigor of both college and law school, um, that I, the, ac the education that I received here at Girls High. High, I left here, graduated in 1994, and attended Yale University. Because when I was here, I knew that I could do anything that I set my mind to. Girls High, it will humble you on those days when you get those test results back, and you're like, whoa, wow, I'm going to have to dig a little deeper. But I, I was so well prepared when I got to Yale University that I was like, this is actually, this is actually pretty easy. And so I want you all to know here that anything that you put your mind to, that you work hard and strive for, is available to you. Because I think sometimes people think that people who go to Yale or people who go to Princeton are someplace else. No, they are you. If that is what you desire, if that's what you set your goal towards, then you as a girl's high girl, you can go. After graduating from Yale University, I said, you know what? I've conquered Yale. You know, where, where am I going next? I'm going to Harvard. So I went to Harvard Law School. Because as you heard on stage today, girls high girls are nothing to play with. That's right. <laughs> so I took Harvard Law School. After graduating from Harvard, I worked for some time at private law firms. I started at a law firm in Atlanta, Georgia. I worked there for about five years. Then I moved back here to Philadelphia where I did mostly employment discrimination work. Um, then I moved on to the Department of Justice where I did civil rights work. And there I prosecuted cases on behalf of the United States um, against employers who were discriminating against their employees. And so I've kind of seen this issue from um, always being an advocate um, for people who may have been um, mistreated um, based on their um, protected category in the workplace. But then in 2008, something momentous happened in this country and we elected President Barack Obama. And so I said, I have to take my talents from, from Philadelphia to D.C. And so I went to D.C. and became a civil rights attorney with the Department of Justice Civil Rights Division. to take the talent and the education that I had learned at Girl High, the commitment to not only ourselves, but to humanity, right? Because here, we're not just worried about me and mine. It's about us. It's about lifting as we climb. It's about making sure that we are working for the betterment of all humanity. 
So I worked for at the Department of Justice Civil Rights Division, bringing cases on behalf of the United States. And as I was sharing earlier, there's nothing that I felt, I still get tingles in my spine today, remembering the first time I went to federal court and I stood up, thinking in the back of my mind, here I am, a descendant of enslaved people, coming from a public school background, and here I am working at the Department of Justice, and I can stand up and say, good morning, your honor, this is Rahima Abdulaleem for the United States of America. And so as I close, I currently, I currently am in a career government position. I work at the White House, and I know people may say, oh, um, but I, I work at the White House, where I am a senior associate general counsel. And every day that I work, that I go to work, I think it's important that we all know that this is our country. And that I will show up at work every day and make sure that no one forgets that this is a country that my ancestors built and that I have a place in this building. And as I was, and I, I want to close and just give you one more thought, ladies that I saw a poster and it really spoke to me. And I want you all to remember this as you leave here. I have a five-year-old daughter and I have a 20-year-old. I don't really advise the big age gap, but, but my five-year-old, every day I tell her we need three affirmations, three things that are positive. So it could be anything, and I encourage you to do that to yourselves. It could be anything as in terms of I am strong, I'm smart, I am striving. Her new one is, I'm killing it. I don't think she really knows what that means, but, but I saw this poster and I thought of you all. And I want to leave this with you today. It says, dear students, I believe in you. I am here for you and you are capable of great things. Never forget that. You are respected, you are listened to, and you are uniquely you. You are worth it. We all expect great things from you, and we will never give up on you. We care about you. Your success is my success, and we are all in this together. I look forward to seeing you all up here. Thank you. I think the Alumni Association, is a. It, this is such a unique school and a unique experience for people who most people have no idea um, of the type of uh, rich education that we receive here at Girls High and the Alumni Association provides such a uh, valuable resource in kind of bridging the gap between people who are students here and keeping them kind of connected to the school once they graduate. And I, I live in Washington DC now and literally probably a month doesn't go by where I meet someone who tells me they're from Philadelphia and lo and behold, they actually attended the Philadelphia High School for Girls as well. One of my closest friends uh, attended here. And it's just, you know, it's something that we, we all hold so dear, you know, to us, even many years later. Would you like to have any last words for anyone? Um, I would like to say to anyone who's watching this, current students, alums, um, to the alums, please continue giving back, whether it's monetarily or through service. Um, being there for current students or being there for alums who are looking for someone to connect with or to mentor. Um, and for current students, uh, just keep at it. This is a wonderful opportunity. Here you'll be challenged, um, but this challenge will prepare you tremendously for everything that you will encounter um, once you leave these doors. Yes, 238th graduating class. <laughs>